Hi everyone, it's Robert Earl White with the Order of Light here today to talk about World UFO Day, July 2nd, the anniversary of the Roswell UFO crash in New Mexico. And today I will be showing you tons of my UFO videos that I've recorded this past month, this past week, last night. A lot of amazing stuff I've captured and I want to encourage all of you to start to look up at the sky because the skies have been really active late these things 2022 that's what's going on the congress and pentagon isn't showing you the evidence they have so it's up to people like myself and you to record these things and at the end of this video please watch until the end because i will be going over what settings you need to have on your cell phone so not only do you capture these ufos but you can see the stars you can see the corner of your house to help your video become a better quality so you can show your friends and make contact with these beings. It's quite simple and I will be going over that after all of these videos. All of these videos were shot on the new iPhone 13 Pro Max and I was using a high exposure on this and I will be going over all of the details of that at the end of this video because my goal is to encourage all of you to start to look up. Everyone wants proof of UFOs, just look up, they're there. I see them constantly. So I hope that you enjoy this compilation of all the UFOs I've seen this past month, the uh, month of June uh, 2022, and it's gonna be great. And please make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe to the page, set a reminder, and share this, and make sure that you start to look up. Thank you so much, and I hope that you enjoyed this. We are the disclosure. Hey everyone, turn the phone brightness up. It will help you see the videos much better. Robert Earl White, I got something flying right in front of the moon. Beautiful, hello guys. It's about 5.30 in the morning, freezing cold. That's the moon right there, and you can see the object flying right past it. That's awesome. About 5.30 in the morning. We got this guy flying around. Robert Earl White. <laughs> Look at it. There's the moon for reference. Oh, it just stopped for a little bit. I take a couple steps back. This is me moving. All right. I want to have the moon. That thing just changed direction. I'm holding still. Hold on.
had to move so I could see it. What could that be? You see that flashing going on near that tree? I was just scanning the skies. That was interesting. Is that what is that Robert Earl White order of light look at that This thing is interesting. Moving pretty slow. Must be going through the tree branches. I got it. I got a UFO, Robert Earl White, Order of Light. Look at this. They exist, everyone. Look at this, this is incredible. Hey guys. I've seen a few of them. Look at this. Look at it. It's beautiful. All day, man. They're here. Oh, so beautiful. Hey, Congress, if you want someone to actually get the job done, I'm your guy. Look at it. 
look at it. All the other stars for reference. We're out here to show you I'm outside. Let's see if we can find it. There it goes. It's still rocking. Look at it. I'm keeping my eye out for other ones. Look at it. I'm zooming in and zooming out. Getting faint. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Still going. Starting to lose it. It's real faint, far away. Look at it. Robert Earl White, Order of Light. We got another one, looks just like a star. You can never tell. And then you zoom in on it and look. It's moving. This is the third one I've seen. I've been out here less than five minutes. There. They look just like stars. You wouldn't even be able to notice them. Look at that. Look at that. All day long. I can get more done in five minutes looking in the sky than Congress can in 50 years. I promise you that. Oh, where'd it go? Well. Um. Yeah, it just vanished. Just disappeared. So it's gone. Just faded away. Once again, outside. The show you. And just for fun, let me see if I can see another one. Let's just see if I can get two of them on a continuous. Wow. I'm just scanning the sky. I gotta find them with my eyes. Oh, my neck hurts. I'm gonna take a break. Robert Earl White, Order of Light. I got another UFO. It's right there. You can see it. That's the star down to the bottom. There we go. You can see it there. Let's zoom all the way in on it. Was a lot brighter. Look at that. Looky, looky at what we got. Hey, how's it going? Robert Earl White, Order of Light. Our little space friends. Zooming in.
got to go. No flashing. Just to show you, that's an airplane right there to the right, and that's the object up there. Girl White, Order of Light, got another UFO cruising up here. Let's see what it does. Up to the right, that's a star. You can see how the, you can barely notice them sometimes. Let's zoom in on it. Look at it. Now that's a star you see. And look at it. No flashing on that. Zooming out for some reference. Got the side of my house right there. Skies have been extremely active. Hey guys, how's it going? I gotta move out a little bit. There we go. Let's zoom in. Whoa. Whoa. What? What? What was that? What was that green thing? I got chills when I saw that. I'm stepping out. I gotta move out some so I can get a better view on it. Still going. That green light was insane. I have no idea what that green light was. Look at it go. Still going. Skies are busy. I wonder if I'll see some. I'm outside everyone. I'm looking for UFOs, but I'm getting light anomalies that I'm seeing with my visible eye. I think I caught some of the green ones in my last video, but with my naked eye right above this telephone pole, I just saw this white rectangular flash emitting its own light. So I have my camera on just in case I see these flashes again in the sky, just to show you I'm outside. I'm looking, it was insane. If I see it again, I just wanna have it on camera. Oh, that's kind of weird. I have the exposure turned up, so things will be brighter, a little bit more clear.
to see that light again. Come on. That was so close. Oh, as I'm out here, I have a UFO, another one. See it moving? Right there. <laughs> Man, the skies are active tonight. Robert Earl White. Hey guys, this one is directly above me. Wow, hey guys. Oh, please come down here. Please just land, come say hi. Let me get a photo with you so we can just help everyone understand that you exist. Look at it, this is directly above me. No flashing on it. Zooming out. Now why am I losing it? Hey, we got one. Robert or White Order of Light. Hey, come down here. Come take a picture with me. Back to back. Look at this. Hey, what's up? Stop for me. Hold still. Hey. What's up? That's the side of my house there. Hey guys. Much love and light. Robert Earl White, Order of Light, space friends are cruising. Let's take a look at our space friends.
Hey. Oh, there was a second one. Telephone wires here. I'm gonna go up a step. hard to see it through the wires. That's good, maybe we'll get another one. Hey, hey, Robert Earl White. We got a little friend. Little friend flying in the sky. Cars are driving by. And we're looking at a UFO flying through the sky. Hey, come down here. Let me shake your hand. Cruising. Beautiful. Let's get zoomed in. All right. Still going. Add this one to my collection. <laughs> oh, nice. We got the tree. White, I have a UFO. It's a faint one. Here we go. I'm outside. There's cars. I'm zooming in. guys I wish you guys would come down here and say hi it would solve everything just hop right out still going
This one's faint. Very faint. see it. Robert Earl White got a UFO. Zooming in on it. Moving quick, zooming out, side of my house. Got cars out here. There it goes. It's going quick. That's the fastest one I've seen in a while. Jeez. Look at it. Side of my house. And I'm starting to lose. Thing. I thought it was an airplane with lights on it. It's flashing a bunch of different colors. Oh, there it is. It was flashing a bunch of different colors. And it went out. I thought it was a plane. And then all the crazy colors stopped. I'm hoping it lights up again with the colors. Oh, there it goes. You saw it flash out of it. Whoa, 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 it's another UFO. Whoa, 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 the, whoa. Holy, holy. Oh, wow. I was filming one UFO and this other one just shot out super bright, quick. That caught me off guard, hey. I thought it was going after the one. It's going so quick. I've never seen them move this fast. Look at this. Holy smokes. That was incredible. Robert Earl White, Order of Light. Just making contact whoa I'm outside and we got another one we have another one flying right there there's the side of my house I just got done recording talking about what I saw and here's another one Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I have the timestamps. It's been less than five minutes and I've seen three of them all different directions. Look at that, no flashing. Flight administration, they call for some sort of beacon light. Red, green, blue, white, nothing on that. 
They just look like bright stars flying around in the sky. Let me zoom out a little bit. Look at that. Wow. It's kind of stalling out. Now this one's going much slower than the other ones. Hey guys. Look, I need video evidence. Just fly down here, land in my yard. We can take a selfie and you can go back to cruise and I zoomed out too far. I got the telephone poles. I got to move a little bit. Still visible. I'm looking through the telephone wires. Still going. Wow. I got the light. It's hard to see with the light right there. Well, hopefully. All right. We have another UFO. I'm continuing in my backyard. It's kind of hard to see. There we are. You can see it there flying. Look at it go. Right there. You can see it flying. Just point the laser in front of it, not on it. Hey, there's so much activity going on here tonight. It's ridiculous. Right here, we got another one. This one's cruising pretty quick. Look at it going. Let's give it a kiss with the laser. <laughs> See it. Beautiful. Man, they are busy tonight. Busy, busy, busy. starting to lose it. I tried to zoom in on it. I lost it. It's gone. The one, this one is very faint. Look at it. Look at how quick it's going. That's insane. Don't want to lose it. It's going quick.
just to show everyone. I'm outside. I lost it. <laughs> All right, now everyone, this next video, there was a bunch of different events that happened leading up to this video. I will show you the video straight through, but I wanna talk you through it before I do that. So I was in the process of recording all the other UFOs that you saw, and I was continuing looking for other ones, and I saw a meteorite, a shooting star. I said, oh, that's cool. I would love to capture one of those. So I pull out my phone, I start recording, I'm scanning the sky slowly, looking and hoping that I could capture a meteorite. That didn't happen, but I saw this strange flash. And in the video, you will hear me commenting about this flash saying, what was that flash? And I've seen these things all the time. I've just never captured it on camera. I had no idea that I actually caught it on camera until afterwards. And I will show you what's in this flash. It's quite remarkable. Then as I'm scanning the sky, I actually lock on to another UFO, but I was completely unaware of being locked on the UFO, but I stay on it for some reason for a while, and you will see it cruising through the sky. At that point in time, I heard something on my grass, and my grass is really burnt up at the moment. It's really crinkly, and you can hear it crackling. And I heard something coming up behind me as I was recording this one up in the sky. I didn't know what to really think of it. It seemed about knee high, and I thought that could have been an animal or something like that. I didn't know, but you see me throw the camera down because you know I wasn't scared but I wanted to make sure something wasn't going to attack my ankles and I was recording without a flash on my phone recording this UFO that you'll see and as I turn around I didn't have any light from my phone I was in complete darkness so I used my laser pointer and I was spraying uh, you know trying to you know point it towards its direction and I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything scurry off as well. As soon as I turned around, whatever that sound was, I like felt it right behind me. I could just feel it. And I had no idea that I was recording the UFO, let alone the red flash, the red flash object, which we'll get more into that after I show the video straight through. And then we'll break parts uh, up so we will show you just the parts as they're happening. This is an awesome one. This one happened recent and uh, it was quite amazing experience and I'm hoping eventually that I won't have something walking behind me, that I will have a craft come down, land in front of me and approach me head on. I don't like it when any sort of being, whether it's here on earth or the universe, comes at me from behind. I don't take kindly to that. So, but a lot of the other UFOs I've captured all different times. It was amazing, all positive experiences, but here's this video, check it. Shooting star it was beautiful. It was right in this area of the sky. I'm hoping to get it on film. Normally when you see one, you see more in the same area. What was that flash? Thank you. 
Am I still recording? Something just snuck up on me. Did you hear those stuff? I got a UFO. Look at that one. It's bright and low. All the way zoomed in on it. Wow. Robert Earl White. Outside. This is the side of my house. You see it, huh? Wow. Hey guys, what's up? Come over here. It's starting to move again. That's awesome. I have the trees as a point of reference. Starting to fade away. I lost it behind that tree. Well, that was cool. Out here, World UFO Day. Skies are busy. Stop watching the TV, look up. Now it's time that I show you some tricks and techniques to use with your cell phone. A couple tips for all of you if you want to capture these UFOs. One thing that is very important, stay calm. As you're doing this and you're sky watching, try to calm your heart rate, be as calm as possible, try to be in tune. This will help with the activity that you seek. And oftentimes, if you feel something saying to look in a certain area, most certainly do that. That's your intuition. We are connected with these things that are flying around and oftentimes, I will have a sudden urge to look in one specific place in the sky and sure enough there will be a ufo flying there so always trust your intuition with that being said when you are ufo hunting make sure that you have point of reference point of reference means that you have objects so as you are recording this ufo which most times is a ball of light not flashing hovering through the sky fast or very slow or disappearing and popping up somewhere else so it's important to have reference, a tree in the background, or for example, have other stars, or have the corner of your house, or a telephone pole, telephone wires. Things like this are great for having some sort of point of reference so you can judge how quick this object is moving due to the objects that you have within frame. This is very helpful. Even if it's just the stars behind the UFO, you need stationary objects. If you're just zoomed in on a UFO and you don't see anything else, you're not going to know if that's in the sky or if that's just a light on the ground or a light bulb in your house. It can be very deceiving. Point of reference is everything. And that's why in a lot of the videos you just saw, you saw the corner of my house, telephone poles. And sometimes I would just bring the video down to show people my surroundings. And this is where having a high exposure, turning your exposure levels up will help you 
in a great, great way. It really brightens it up, turning up that brightness. There are also apps you can use, such as Video Leap uh, is an app I use. You can download it and you can enhance the exposure, brightness, contrast, and other things of videos. You can actually make it a negative uh, video, which is useful as well. So if you download that, you can enhance the video even more to brighten it up. So if it is a dark video, there are ways to add brightness and to expand on the exposure. But the best way is to record with having your exposure high. Now as you zoom in, you're gonna lose quality and as you turn up this brightness and this exposure, it's gonna become more pixelated but you will be able to see what is surrounding whatever you're recording. And trust me, this is a huge tip for you to have. Also, I use the 30 frames per second at 4K on my phone. Uh, there are three options. There's the 24 uh, frames per second, there's the 30 frames per second, and the 60 frames per second. I have learned that the 30 frames per second in my 4K or 1080, it don't matter, 30 frames per second is the key to have things as bright as you can possibly have them, which is very helpful when you're filming the sky and you can see the stars and you can see the UFOs flying by. So I hope this really helps you. And remember, spend 10 minutes a night looking up and you are bound to see something. And have your phone ready, have it on 30 frames a second, 4K, 1080p, whatever you got, HD and have your brightness up, record these things, put it in the Video Leap app, you can adjust the brightness, and that app is free by the way. You can adjust the brightness, adjust the exposure, and the video really comes to life. Check out the Order of Light merch store down in the description. Check out all the great merch and the other links that are down there as well. I will have links to some of these things so you can find them for yourself. And uh, yeah, I appreciate all the love and support. We got a lot of great merchandise in there. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and share this as much as you can. I hope this video encourages you to get out and start looking up and recording these things on your phone for yourself.